Welcome to Empire Boy, this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Kingdom of Scotland campaign for we're using the ship mod, where we're going to continue with up from last time, where we have finally taken all of the now Scottish Isles. Yes! Uh, I know technically there was a thought of whether or not there's a, uh, another city over here, but no, everything on Ireland is under my control. So we now actually fully control all of the British Isles. I am going to be trying to have it so that for the most part, I think we're going to try and take a little bit of time to consolidate and properly kind of develop the island a little bit before we start trying to make our way down into France. I will be trying to see if the English will accept a peace. Because you know what? I'll try and get the Pope to kind of like me. How old is he? He's currently 55 years old. Uh, I have <laughs> I have like one guy in here. Yeah, I've got one guy in there. I can maybe try and see if I can rig the elections and try and get... I'm actually at my age limit. Never mind. I was going to say, try and have it so that we can get him to like me more. So that I can try and have it so that we can just make myself the Pope. We can try and do that. But what I do think we're going to do is I want to try and build ourselves up a little bit. Trying to replenish and try and consolidate the lands that we do have right now. Primarily, I want to be able to go around and kind of just build some watchtowers all over the place to like have us. So we actually have full vision over the isles. Then I think we'll be like, okay, now let's actually start trying to conquer into um, France. So for right now, let's have you try and retrain that unit. I've also got some clansmen down here that cannot be retrained in that city. That is fine. Aye. I'll bring you up to Move the us. settlement as well. No um, I don't have anybody that I really want to use as a glorified watchtower builder right now. Uh, actually, you know what? I kind of like the idea of... Let's have you stay behind right here. But I actually kind of like the idea of having my king currently. Wandering about the Isles, doing a tour now that he is, or he will be soon. We're going to basically also try and make sure we can give him his title, give him his crown, um, and actually make him the King of the Scots. So to do that, uh, where's the crown thing again? So we can kind of see what that says again. Uncrowned. So we need to have it so... Yeah, so it says he's uncrowned. I believe it was you need to have um, all the land that's con connected to your region, which should be basically what we have all right now. And then we just need to have 20,000 gold. And I believe we have to go to my capital um, for the most part. So we'll try and have him basically go about, build up some watchtowers, go around all of the isles, meeting his people that he's now governing over. And then once he's kind of basically does like a loop around here, he'll eventually get to our current capital. Um, and hopefully we'll have 20,000 gold by that point so that we can try and make him a king. So let's we'll try and have it so Where's we'll just kind of build up. Uh, they're so fucking expensive. One watchtower here. I'm going to try and do only a couple of these per turn because actually how much money am I making? I'm actually making quite a bit of money. Um, for the most part, I'm building something in every settlement, so I, I gets okay to kind of go about it now. So let's have you kind of go there Watch. and there. The I hate how expensive they're, but we'll again, we'll have you kind of wander about I'm building watchtowers until we have this lit up. Then, hopefully, by that time, we will have you um, with a, a crown on your head. Um, and I did get a diplomat. Where did I put you? Currently, you're in Essex. Uh, I do have a ship here, so we can try and drop you off. We'll try and talk to the English. I'll try and see what they think about us having a ceasefire. Uh, they're probably going to say no and uh, fuck you. Or uh, what the hell are you bloody thinking? No. Uh, so we can try and see what you guys think of a ceasefire. Actually, it's balanced. Let's try it. Accepted. Okay. Okay. For now, I'll do this just to kind of get the Pope to stop hating me so much. And I think while we're trying to develop things around here, that's fine. Um, I will try and offer some trades. So we can try to make some money off of this. You hold us at ransom. And then, hey, to be a dick, I'm going to offer you my map information. Um, but I want to try and get money out of it. So let's actually ask for money. You're very poor. I'm going to try and make you poor. Because eventually we are going to try and kill you guys. Um, I've got nine regions. I think you can ask for about 100 per region sometimes. So let's ask for 900 florins. It's demanding, but I'll try it. Basically trying to just be just spit in their faces saying, hey, I've got the islands now. So we'll give them a piece for now. I want to properly take some time to develop our regions. Um, and if we were going to attack anybody, France would not be a bad idea. Currently, France is not the most well-liked by the Papal See, So they might be a pretty good opportunity for us. Um, I should uh, try and bring my spies. They're all in uh, Carnivon right now. Basically, let's try and bring you guys all over this way. 
I'll try and have it so that next turn, I'll have you guys go drop off onto the mainland, uh, if this ship isn't attacked for whatever reason, and then we can start trying to figure out where we want to expand to. For the moment right now, if we're trying to think about areas that make sense for us based on our kind of our culture, the Scandinavian regions would make sense. Denmark could kind of make sense as well. Kind of northwestern Europe. We could basically go like we could kind of go more of the raiding aspect and go down and like hit some areas in maybe Iberia. Could try and do that. Otherwise, basically, I'm, I'm only taking it, like taking this piece with England for now just to kind of be nice to them. It's like, OK, I think it makes sense that we've now been able to kick them out of England. And now it's like, OK, we don't care about you anymore. As long as they don't come back from my island, I, I feel like we need to kind of solidify and properly make sure that we can solidify our claim here now that we are the rulers of this island. And so I think for me now. I'll leave them alone. Honestly, I kind of want to see what happens between them and France. I want to see if they will get their asses kicked by France or if they will actually do fine. I think what one thing I will do for sure, I'm going to try and take the city of Rene. Um, that seems to still be rebel. I can try and go down that way, claim that city, so we at least have a region that we control in France. And then it will be in a couple turns or whenever, if they decide to just betray my trust uh we'll just be going to war again with the english basically i'm just trying to get the pope to like me a little bit more so we're not excommunicated just after i was reconciled back into the uh the papacy so hopefully we can try and go about that and let's see so garrisons in public order let's see so maintaining sufficient gear friends um they may provide up to 100 percent keeping in mind that each individual soldier provides public order um yeah that, that's that makes sense for example yep that's in huge cities. You need 20 units to prevent rebellion. Shit. Okay. It's also, yeah, if someone with high dread is also useful. Oh, there's actually a crusade called. I, yeah, I just did that. I'm not at war with them anymore. Did you not see me give them the fucking peace? Um, where's this crusade? The Holy uh, Kissery, where is peace. that? So that, oh, wow, that's far. You know what, though? Fuck it. I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what we're doing. Well, well for now, I, I, ooh, do I want to send my king? Command me. How many turns do we have? Um. Oh, you're, oh, a new mission. Your leader must join the crusade. And I may be excommunicated if I don't. Okay, they're actually telling me to bring him specifically. Uh, your reputation with the Pope will suffer enormously. Uh, send emissary to France and get some money. Gladly. Okay, so one thing I need to do is also offer you guys some trade. Offer some trade. I'm going to try and see if I can get some map information from you guys, as I actually want to know. Well, no, 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 I will sell ours. We'll sell our map information. I have spies I'm going to be dropping over here anyways. Um, let's offer a payment. Um, or ask for a payment. Again, I think you can roughly usually ask for about 100, or it's 50 or 100 per city you own. And I own nine cities right now. So that's balanced. They accepted it. Nice. A little bit of money. Not bad. And then I got a little bit more from just talking to them. Okay. So that is... Okay. So I have... Four turns. <laughs> Shit. Four turns to have my faction leader join. Um, my main concern at the moment is my fucking fleet. Which is non-existent. <laughs> so I'm not opposed to joining the crusade. Uh, I am a little concerned about the fact that my fleet is dog shit. So, again, let's kind of go back over here. Um, let's see. I need ships. So, I can get you. Takes three turns there. Are there any other settlements I can recruit ships from? I can get one here. Um, I can get one here. Uh, let's, also, I need you guys to have more units around here for better garrisons. Because at the moment... Oh, not you. Uh, London, actually. London's the one that right now needs a better garrison. So get another spear militia unit right there. Uh, Building-wise, we actually do want to start trying to develop this area a little bit. Trade's pretty decent right now. Let's see. So this reduces law. So I want to get the merchants where we can get anything. That just gives more growth. This one's slightly cheaper and takes a little bit less time. And now give us another uh, about 70. Yeah, we'll grab that for England. Or London. Grab that for London. Uh, around here. Okay, so what we're going to do 
Wolf is I need okay, so I need some troops I'm for just watching over these regions, just to make sure they're a little bit happier. Like I you guys, kind of come I over to Bristol. I'm still going to be building up watchtowers, so let's build like one over here. Build one there. I will have you join the crusade, but I'll do it at the very last moment, as we need to try and gather troops, and we need to try and have oh new family member, nice, uh, an Earl of Mercia. Uh, we need to gather troops, and I also do just, again, want to kind of build some stuff up around here. Because I've at least got all of these guys I will grab. So I can grab all of you. So, let's see. If I just look at how many men I have. So, let's see. I've got three units here. I'll be basically grabbing this entire army here. So, that's 15 units there. Um, no. There's one guy here. There's one guy here. Uh, I cannot retrain that guy right now. You're still trying to go up here to be retrained. So, that'll be another couple. Let's say you try and make your way over to Bristol. We'll gather most of the forces that we're going to be bringing along to Bristol. That's what we'll go with for now. I'm a little concerned that our troop quality is absolute shit. Um, but hey, it's a crusade. It's fine. There'll be free upkeep for a time, so that'll be great. Um, other than that right now, though, it's basically we just need a, we need a good navy. We desperately need a good navy. I've got some cav here. So I've almost got a full stack, basically, especially once we have these guys be retrained. Then we'll be doing a little bit better there. Still a little concerning. Oh, I forgot to move all my spies. Ah, uh, that's, that's fine. We can uh, we can deal with that later. Uh, cause basically, yeah, we'll have it so that the ship I get from here, yeah, the ship we get from London, I can maybe have it so that we can use that to drop off the spies quickly. That might work for us. Also, now that we've got a diplomat down here, um, let's go try and talk to some other people. So let's go try and talk to the Holy Roman Empire next. Uh, they've got to have some sort of a city over here somewhere. Try and get some more trade and try and sell more of my map information. If I can just keep getting a little bit more money occasionally from people, that would be great. Especially because now that we have all of the British Isles, now that we have control of these Scottish Isles, um, we actually can make quite a bit of trade. We're very safe, for the most part, on our island. And we can start really developing ourselves economically uh, now that we control all of it. Especially when I go on Crusade. We'll take my king... Let's hope he doesn't die. I'm so bad at sometimes keeping all of my family members alive. And uh, I, I do love the fact that it was brought up in the comments last time. That it's like, oh yeah, there's all these things that this mod is supposed to make it the game a little bit more difficult. Well, you know what sounds great? Let me just machine gun my generals to death. Blitz them. Just speed run them. See how quickly I can get them killed. Not on purpose, mind you. Not on purpose. Of course, never on purpose. Never, 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 never. But it definitely does not help us uh, whatsoever when my characters die so quickly. And I'm a little worried that our because our settlements start so weak and uh, or so low in population, our troop quality is not amazing right now. And they're asking me to go on for fucking crusade. Hopefully there are some good uh, men to grab on crusade. Usually there are. I don't know if there is going to be anything anything like that just yet. Um, with how early we are in the campaign. As I wasn't expecting a crusade until like, I don't know, fucking turn 30 or 40. At least turn 22, first crusade. Let's go for it. Uh, my, my king, at least this is a younger king. And he gets down make a name for himself by going on crusade, which is nice. I am a little concerned that our navy is not amazing, so if we piss anybody off on our way over there, or rebels, a rebel navy could very easily sink my entire fucking fleet and kill my faction leader, which I would fucking hate. Also, I'm actually going to stop accepting brides for now, actually, um, as I want to make sure... Family tree? Oh, perfect. For, uh, just related to what I was about to talk to you. Back, talk about Management of your ruling family is an important part of the game. Just important in the first and foremost, your entire uh, you should must ensure that not all of your members of your family tree die. Of course, yeah, of course, game. Of course, why would I ever do that? Let's see if you uh, yeah you lost your campaign. Uh, you can keep your family alive by marrying off your princesses. Yep, of course. Marrying off your family members who are likely to have children. Yep, adopting generals. Um, they are periodically offered by the game engine. Yep, bear in mind that recruit generals, a bodyguard, and many hour do not show up in the family tree, and thus do not count towards the prevention of your ruling family. Uh, oh yeah, okay, the recruited and the man of the hour, okay. Because you have to have it so that a man of the hour, you have to give him, uh, he has to be married into the family, then he will actually show up for the family tree. <sighs> Let's see. And then such generals also are likely to have inferior traits than those born in the family. Interesting. Okay, blockade port Lovin. Is that rebel? That is rebel. Ooh, I could actually go expand over there if I wanted to. Although, because we're going to be going on crusade, I won't have a chance to do that. 
Not yet. Um, but let's see. So who's going on to the Crusade? So um, the, we have the Venetians, the Sicilians, Imperium Romanum. Who's that again? We got Hungary, Argo, uh, the Argoni, Aragon, uh, and then uh, Norvegir. Uh, who the hell is that again? Because I, 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 I like that they're a bit more unique, but I... Have, oh, that's just the Holy Roman Empire, yeah. That, why the fuck did I not see that initially? Um, and then was that last one? Oh, just Norway. Yeah, okay. Um, London is rioting and characters affected. It's better now. Yeah, you guys are a little upset there. Um, let's repair the carpenter. Repair the carpenter. And then, yeah, do keep getting some more troops around here. Um, God, they're so expensive. We'll just go with that one extra unit, because I think that's all we need. Primarily, it's just unrest in general, which will go down with time. And also, uh, this is going... No, that doesn't have any public order. That's, yeah, that's fine, then. Okay, so we got... Also, I love that even though the watchtowers cost more, I think they have a way bigger range than usual. I think. I'm not sure about that, actually. Um, so you gather around there. You guys gather around here. Are none of these guys free to keep in this area? Maintaining upkeep for three units. Why? Is that not weird? Why are none of you guys free upkeep? Levy archers. Like, over here... It might just be because it's only the spear militia that are the ones that are available for that. Possibly. Which, I probably should just upgrade this. That might be the reason, maybe. Okay, well, we'll get that uh, later, but again, keep gathering all of these men together. We've got a, over a full stack for when we want to make our way over. Um, okay, so what we'll do, let's have it so we got three more turns. So probably two more turns of building up and building watchtowers. Then we'll start making our way over. So again, let's have you keep mowing, going around, because I'll have it so that you'll kind of go around here. Also, I've got more men here. I've got plenty of men, actually, because I can drop all of you guys off. Um... Do I want you to go build some watchtowers over here or just be done with that? We built quite a few, but I kind of want to build a couple more. I really want you to be the king before you leave, but I make only 5,000 per turn. And so it'll take me several turns to get the money necessary to actually crown you as the king of, uh, of the Scottish Isles. But sadly, I don't have the time like for that because I have to have you join the crusade. Uh, I do think here, um, let's we'll see if this Axe Militia unit is free upkeep. Because what I'm going to have you guys do is just take all of you out. Uh, no, he's still not. Okay. My king. Interesting. Um, let's see. I'm going to actually get rid of you. And then I think this is actually the army we will be bringing. Although, actually, this unit here is only like 11 guys. Uh, you can actually be replaced. Like, I can switch you out with uh, one of these guys. My king. Move out. I don't know how well a bunch of javelin men will do against the... Um, Forces of the Rome, the uh, Turks, basically. But it's something we must try. It is something that we Where's must try. Uh, so I'll have it so that I'll have you... So I'll basically have it so I'll probably pick you up next turn. Not two turns. I honestly feel like I will bring them over there. Because I can have you guys kind of wait here. Actually, no, you shouldn't rebel. I know in the past I've had issues with stainless steel where my armies rebel from me. Um... Aye. Because this will be the army we bring along with us. I might actually, because of how things are going right now... Um, well, first things first, what we're going to do is... Bristol, you've got those agents. Let's go over here. Next turn, we'll drop off all my spies. I can then start trying to spread out, kind of figure out where do we want to go. Because at the moment, this is still rebel. Uh, this stuff's up here as rebel, too. So I might want to try and actually expand into those areas while we're away. I'm not going to keep the land I have with me, because actually what I should do... Well, you're making your way over towards um, the Crusading Target. Well, actually, I'll have you make your way over towards the Crusading Target while I'm having you try and talk to people. Because then what I can do is claim the city. I don't want this area. I don't want to be over here whatsoever. I will want to try and take it for sure, yes. But I can try and sell it back to them after I take it and try and get a piece out of them. It's something I've done a, a lot in... Um, my Zardom's campaign, because I did that with my Knights of St. John campaign, where... Oh, I forgot to retain that guy. That's fine. 
where I would um, immediately jump in on the crusade, take the city, immediately sell it back to them, and af uh, ask for peace. So I'd complete the crusade, get the XP, get the money from completing it. But then I would be able to be like, oh, okay. I'm not at war with you guys. Don't worry about me. I'm going to just nope out of here and get out of this, uh, get out of Dodge. I'm kind of hoping we can do something similar with this campaign where I don't have a reason to go over there. Eventually, I will need to do a crusade and actually take Jerusalem to finish the campaign. That'll be probably the, like the very last thing we do with this campaign. But in the meantime, I don't think the Scots give a shit about governing any land in the Middle East. And so I will just ignore and just sell that land back. It'll be a great way to get more money, basically do exactly what the crusades were meant to do. Take money from other areas and bring it over to us. Effectively what we're going to be doing, and we're just going to put it into our own island. See, another bride. Again, I'm going to hold off on accepting these for a little bit, as I do want to double-check something just yet. Uh, let's hold that on on that. Uh, Royal Bloodlines and the Family Tree. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is also, again, related. So, each faction has its own bloodline, um, provides unique benefits. It's passed on to generation to generation. Let's see. If your bloodline happens to die away, do not despair. It will be resurrected. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, also, women do all pass on the bloodline. Okay. Um, let's see. One of the goals of family is to keep bloodline early family alive. Player is able to manage the family tree by not accepting marriages and added options. It should be noted, though, that each couple may have... Yep, this is the main thing. Because you can only have four children per family. And if you adopt too many people, you can't actually get um, other generals. Or you can't have actual proper kids. Let's see. If you want to keep your... Uh, you should not allow marriages between generals and ladies who are both bloodline. And adopt generals offered... Okay. Should we keep the number of characters lower than the number of provinces you own? And to have potentially... Okay. Yes, because what I want to check is over here, uh, I think it counts dead kids too. I believe it does. So technically, because this is one adoptive character we have, um, that's actually the one... That's for you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll accept that because you are on the family tree. I will uh, allow. I will accept this marriage, um, and then for the most part, we're going to be focusing on hopefully being able to have my kids grow, come of age, because the family tree I have, or what's my, where is it? I believe it should say. Is it just the Scottish blood one? Because I know this is a thing that's in the Zardums as well. The Zardums mod also has the family trees, and I think it's. I think it's just saying you have a Scottish blood. I think is the one it's referencing. I believe so. Okay. But, let's see. So, I do need to, again, remember to try and retrain this guy there. And it does seem like it's only the Spear Militia or the units that are free upkeep. So, we'll want to keep that in mind for down here. Um, once this mine finishes up, I'll probably try and get the garrison quarters around here. Um, first and foremost, before we... Because, again, next turn is when we're going to start setting sail for the Crusade. Two turns. Yeah, one more turn. So, next turn we can try and do that. Drop off these spies. And then we'll start exploring. So I want to try and see what areas I may want to expand once we get back from Crusades. So let's have some of you kind of spread out. I'll fight. Two of you go kind of to the south. Two of you kind of go to the east. Oh. Oh, the Aragonese are expanding up into France. Interesting. Yeah, you guys go over there. And then we should now have a couple more ships next turn. Yeah, that'll be when we want to start preparing. So let's have you kind of make your way up here. And I think... I think we should just get ready. Yeah, I think you Come should just on, be man. going right here. Aye. Aye, Group up with this army here. So this will be the army Empty we bring with us to Crusade. And then next turn we'll move out. I don't see any... No, we aren't any, have any ships here. I don't want to have you on that just yet. We'll have you sit here. I'm a little worried that, well, this ship should be able to catch up with us. as It is a little bit faster without an army on it. This one will will for sure. So we'll have at least two ships. I'm a little wait, concerned wait. that that's going to still be a too little. I might drop off every once in a while, try and see if we can find any mercenary boats. York got a better town hall. Let's have you. Oh, I don't have a port here. Get the port then. I want to have at least a base level port so we can start trading. Uh, it does reduce law, but that's okay. I need to at least open up the trade for right now. Uh, do try and retrain that unit if you are now able to. And then London, we were just able to repair that. Okay. Other than that, we don't have any, uh, anything else to construct. Everybody else is building something at the moment. It's still a couple more turns until you finish up your thing. And then same with you. I think it's also Lincoln's DLC. Yeah, so six turns here, four turns here, until those are all done. Let's be honest, hostility ceased. Okay. Trade increased. Yeah, this is just to have the marital ties. Alrighty. 
I do need to check on my diplomat. Where, oh, where is the Holy Roman Empire's lands? Let's see, scroll and train, follow this road. We're kind of going the opposite direction I wanted to go to. Ah, uh, there it is. So, let's try and talk to you guys. Offer trade rights. Barely accepted. I will try and offer map information and ask for money for that. So, let's try and ask for 900. Again, that seems like a reasonable amount to ask for. So we can get a little bit more money every time we ask for that. So we've now talked to you. Um, let's now try and talk to Venice. Yeah, let's make our way over here. We'll slowly have you start making your way over towards Anatolia, as I do like the idea of you trying to basically sell back that land over to the Turks if we're able to beat everybody else over there. I'm not sure, as at the moment, well, there's only been the one group of people that have joined the Crusades so far. Nobody else has joined the Crusades. So I might be okay. And also, there's actually a pretty fucking big army in there. So I think that they might actually be able to hold off against several large armies for quite a time. Makes me concerned that um, I might not go the best. I'm going to... Uh, okay, so what we're going to do with those spies of mine. I'm going to have one spy go to Germany. One spy go to Iberia. One spy go to Italy. And one spy try and go to Anatolia. I think... Because of the bonuses I get to Crusading, I will be able to beat them there. But I would like to have one of my spies kind of scout ahead uh, ahead of us to try and see what the lay of the land looks like over around that city. Because I think there's probably going to be a city uh, just south of it. And I, and I do start, I, I will be at war with them once I accept a Crusade. I'm just so worried about getting my king killed. I'm so worried about getting him killed on his on a crusade out. If we win it, I'm hoping we'll get a decent benefit from that. That's my hope. Because it's quite a far way ways from us. And it actually looks like it's a pretty big city initially. So I'm thinking we should get quite a bit for this crusade as long as we're able to actually take it. I just don't like that our quality of units is shit. It's absolute shit. Like, I would have loved to maybe had a crusade on, like, maybe got the, that had that crusade start around like 35 turn 35 or something like that we would have had a little bit more time to develop ourselves a little bit wouldn't have amazingly better troops but a little bit better troops let's see what's this about look at me oh okay just completed transition translation okay cool uh real family turn oh yeah more stuff about family members okay um let's see as a keeper of your realm your duties are not just to manage the military and economy but also manage people they must uh, maintain a royal line as well as many generals who fought on that line Okay, so medieval two. There are some hardcore limitations on the number of family members. Yep, the game will have adoption opportunities to add children, spouses until the number of generals. So, yeah, it's roughly equal to the number of troop problems you have. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, more of this little case for us. Unless you'll need to either take problems from your or your generals to die for gaining your family members. I see this one keep in mind. You decide whether or not you should allow a general to marry any of the areas. Yeah, that, that yeah we know about that. Okay, enter report and then crusade grows. So now that is a that should be Poland, I believe. Also not just joined down then. So again, yes. we're gonna have um, one spy kind of go down oh, south. Looks like Bordeaux is controlled by the Ar Argonese. Uh, interesting, interesting. How are you guys doing? Because usually I know France is pretty much dominated by um, Spain and uh, Portugal usually. But I'm kind of curious, is the moment you guys explain up here actually is kind of nice. So you guys go over there. I'll have you guys kind of go more to the east. You're going to go more towards Italy, I would say. Um, Toulouse is also under control of rebels still. Okay. But yeah, you'll keep making your way over towards Italy. This spy, I will say, is going to be the one we'll send over to um, Anatolia. It's going to take you a really long time, though, so you will probably not get there before my guys do. But... I'll start having you go over that way to start exploring. So we're slowly lighting up the map. And then this last spy, I'll have you kind of go along the coast and kind of up to the north, northwest, east. So you'll try and go there. As this, yeah, there's a couple cities around here that would not be bad for us to try and claim at some point. Uh, now, I need to make sure that, okay, I thought I was, did I not build a ship up here? No, I did. Okay, so I built this ship here. I'll tell you, you kind of go around this way. You'll go down around that way. And then we've got this vessel and this vessel, which should be able to join up with us here. And then let us, let's see, there's just the hunters, which at the moment, I think we'll, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. But let us join the crusade. 
Yes, I'm joining the crusade against this neutral faction. There are... And I got 3,000 florins to join on as well. Nice. Um, I do kind of want to replace some of my guys with these. This is what we'll do. I'm... Because mm. if I take you guys out of my army, um, you will not have the free upkeep. I will grab the mercenary cog. This is what we'll do. I'll have it so that... We'll go and try and claim what we can with the army we have. And on the way back, or if we get our asses kicked, we'll grab some mercenaries. Because I think we can still grab mercenaries from around there. I just know if I... If I... Actually, I could... I just know you guys would completely disband if I leave you guys behind. Ah, oh, because these guys are nice. Like, especially these guys. Comparing them to these, there's a huge fucking difference. I think... My king. Guys, let's see, I think it's... I. Forward. I, Lord. You're probably gonna disband. Move up. Probably, Move but you know what? I want these guys. So grab those two. I. If I. they disband, I. that's I. fine. I. They're not amazing troops. Um, I'll grab them later. I'll grab the hunters, too. So grab the hunters, and then let's say, like... Maybe get rid of some of my fucking javelins like my these king. two. Move out. The and then fight? grab uh, these guys. And then I'll get rid of these two. I, Lord. So I, I'll leave these men behind. Lord. They're probably going I, to desert Lord. because uh, they are not joining the crusade. But that's fine. That that These are ba pretty basic troops for me. They're not that hard to get back. But I'll hope they don't. So let's grab all of you. Then I need to have it so um, let's group up with this ship here so we have a bit more. Uh, you can't join us. I can't okay, ready. well, set sail then. Just keep going. I Go on without him. I this can't. this ship will just have stay back here then, I guess. So you stay around here, and now we begin our uh, sets. Ooh, the Danes have been excommunicated. Ooh. This is important information. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, I don't have anything else to build right now. Nope, nothing happened during the end turn. Okay, perfect. Uh, I do need to have my diplomat again. You're going to keep going towards Venice. Go down towards Venice, I would say. And now we begin the long trek. So it will take. So I want to probably drop off about around here. Doesn't let me see exactly right now how many turns that will take. But uh, I know we get. I think it like doubles my movement speed. I'm hoping this is a strong enough fleet because. Mm, I'm a little concerned that my uh, king might die here because of this. Let's see. When to bless a marriage? Ooh. When considering whether or not to allow a general to marry, there are a number of factors worth considering. Let's see. Always remember remember the traits of the father. Are also passing to the sons. So good generals are more likely to provide for your realm. Okay. Um, considerations of bloodlines are also important. Bearing in mind. Since we marry off generals in the royal bloodline to show their main potential heirs. Okay. Um, but equally important in consideration is the number of generals, princes, and children already in factions tree. Um, yep, we already know about this little thing, like, um, the fact that you kind of equalize roughly to the amount of people or cities you have. Um, yep, 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 we know about that. Um, let's see, games and fix, fixates on one character, offering marriages proposals after turn after turn, despite you consistently declining. This is, oh, that's just a hard-coded thing. <laughs> after all, no one ever said it's easy to rule rum, and mild headaches are too expected from time to time. <laughs> Love that. Okay. So, Crusade grows. That would be me! Yes! And then, uh, talk of desertion. Yep, those guys. Uh, I'm not surprised. Your free upkeep for right now. I'm making so much more fucking money while you guys are doing that. Now, we need to start setting sales. So, I want to make sure we don't get stuck. And I want to kind of see how many turns it's going to take us to get there. So, I'll start kind of going around here. Kind of be careful while we're going around here. Around Iberia. Jesus, I have a lot of movement. So we're already around the entire edge of Iberia for the most part. Um, I will be trying to probably drop a... Oh, shit. Well, Hungary and uh, Sicily are already there. Okay. Uh, so it looks like it'll take me about three turns. Hopefully we're able to do something in the meantime. If anything, I love the fact that we're making so much money because of the fact that my I have so little upkeep now that the crusade is going on. I love it. So I'm kind of exploring around here, kind of seeing how things are going on down in Iberia. 
you again are going to keep exploring around southern um, France and into Italy. Looks like the Holy Roman Empire controls down here. Interesting. On my way. Okay. You keep doing that, and then this general again. Actually, I'll probably have you maybe be the one that goes towards Anatolia. You're a little bit closer. So try and make your way down this way as well. Because for the most part, then we have almost all of France under our vision there. Let's keep kind of exploring up and around here. Let's see what's going on in this area. So those are all rebel. The Holy Roman Empire does have some land up here as well. They are really big in this mod. Damn. Sire. Usually they're got a little splintered still. Um, I think it's Mary. Nice. That's good to have for my faction leader. And then... Okay, more authority. That's not that bad. That's a construction report. Okay, so we then finished the logging camp up here. I can only get the brothel, so get the brothel. Grab the brothel, and then what was the other one? Um, we can also... Okay, we finished the water mills around in London. Um, how much are the roads going to give us? Roads will give us another 600. Oh, it takes 20 fucking turns! Oh, God, that's painful! Oh, 20 fucking turns. Okay. Um... Is there anything better to get that I want to grab? Like, maybe I should grab some things that get public order. Like, the deep wells, five turns, 10% public order. Because, uh, unrest should start going down. Uh, finding, do we have much corruption? No, we have a lot of devastation. Uh. The roads would it'd be another 600. It's not a bad thing to grab. This takes three turns, gives a health bonus. I'm gonna start building the roads. 20 turns, sure. God, that is so painful. 20 fucking turns. Okay, retrain those guys. Do what you can, because it's still another six turns until these guys can be retrained. Thankfully, we're almost there. Okay, keep doing that. This area should be okay soon, because I know for the most part, uh, Bristol, again, I need to retrain you. It looks like it's only the spearmen that are free upkeep, so I'll have to get those guys at some point later on. Karen of Vonnegut, you're also building the roads. For the most part, a lot of these areas are kind of the same boat. But hey, I can kind of start just gathering some money together now. Now the fact that I have so little upkeep, I love it. Because if it's not for construction, yeah, I'm making about 13, 14,000 right now. Um, other than that, you guys are trained that we know about. Ooh, you guys are allied. And now, it, hmm, okay. England is at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. I'm kind of honestly rooting for the uh, English, which is strange for me to say. <laughs> but yes, I, I would kind of love if I kick England out of, uh, of the actual British Isles and then they just kind of fuck off and go somewhere else and they kind of expand into other regions, which I would kind of love if they actually kind of rebuild themselves a little bit uh, on the mainland. That way, it's just a bit easier for me to push into their lands once I actually decide to go about there again. Let's see, another bride. Um, let's see, so this is for Mogan Mac Million. Uh, Who is that? So that is... I believe it's you. That is one of... That is one of your original kids. Yeah, I'll accept you. Yeah, I'll accept you to make sure that you can uh, you can marry into that. Okay, let's see. What else we got? Uh, Diplomat is blocked. Yep, you need to keep making your way over. You're almost to Venice. So you go there. Enter the port. Yeah, I, I'm making so much money. Like, I will most certainly be able to make myself into the king of the Scottish Isles once we get back. Um, because of how much money we're saving up right now. Let's make sure we keep sailing. I Please don't stop me. I'm Fuck! No, I'm just stuck. Damn it! Okay. Uh, yep, the crusade grows. Another one? Okay. Desertion. Yep, that, that's what I knew. I knew I was gonna come. Because that was the thing. I wanted to... I thought we could maybe get away with just using those units, but I think I wanted to try and make sure, like, hey, we have the best possible chance of going for this city. Because at the moment, there's quite a bit around here. It looks like the Sicilians are actually pretty damn close. Come on, kick them back. Kick them back. I don't want to sail back, uh, sail out for nothing and get nowhere. Although, if you guys do, I will probably... What I'll do with my army is I'll probably have it so that I'll take my faction leader. And I think we'll actually hit maybe, like, one of these cities. Or, no, Denmark. Denmark was just excommunicated recently. 
I'm not opposed to going after Denmark. I am not opposed to going after Denmark. Um, and see, so did we get anything else to be completed this turn? No, we did not. What makes a great victor? In fuck, they already completed it. Damn it! I see. So, in ship, there are a few traits that record the martial performance of the general. Um, oh, they're, they're okay. Probably they're for role playing purposes. They also give some direct bonuses with the character. Okay, so let's see. So, display attorney knight. Number of, uh, number of battle. I love this. I love this. Um, which is going uh, big and small. One of us, the trait is only a matter of direct effect. Those are the probability of acquiring bad traits while under siege, but the number of battles fought will already have impacted upon the number of traits. Okay. Um, Victor first you around, famous, glorious. Counts the, uh, counts the quality of the general's victories. Oh, mm, okay. Trade may be gained if fought battles are less than average size. Uh, okay. Captain Oscar towards this. If gained the case from probability of acquiring a Bioscope's sons are also more likely to have military inclined and natural military skill. Ooh. Only, okay, it only counts with the biggest battles, at least 12,000 soldiers. Cross against the odds, at least 9 10. Ooh. Plus impacts acquiring mental education. Okay, and then finally, conquering certain famous cities gives the trait Conqueror of Blank, which increases authority, also lowers loyalty. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so you guys were successful in that. I. Yeah, so it was Sicily. Damn it! I got all hyped up for the fact that I was going to be able to make my way over there. Uh, and now I make no money again, and we have to go back. Confused, Sadiq? I am not in your navy. Where's the fight? I could, Senior. if I wanted, um, have my own little crusade down in Africa randomly because I don't like that I got, I, I was sent out here, we got all hyped up, and then they completed the crusade before we could. Um, who are you at war with? <laughs> I'm very tempted just because declaring war on the Moors. Like, who would expect the Scottish Inquisition to invade the Moors? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go! Where are, where's a city? Where's a city? Give me a city. We were prepared for war. I'm going to conquer shit down here for no apparent reason. Other than, fuck it, I'm the Scottish king. I should go back to my own lands and crown myself as king, but... Honestly, this is... This is perfect. I'm just gonna conquer some shit down here. Why not? Yes, I cease hostilities with you. Are you happy? I'm now about to just randomly conquer shit down here, too. I honest, I might want to do what I was going to plan on doing with the, um, with the, uh, forces over there with the Turks. I'll bring my, uh, I'll bring you, baby, down here. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Go over here and, um, let's, let's go over, yeah, let's go talk to, like, the Ar uh, Aragonese or maybe to the, uh, Castile, um, or Portugal. At your service. One of those, and actually, let's just take a city and then just go and uh, sell it to them. Why not? Sure. I can try and make some money off of that. Because I think you guys are just in a very crusady mood, and uh, you had to stop. Let's, 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 wait until, uh, let's wait until we actually hit the city to be able to try and do that. Because at the moment, uh, I don't want to piss them off just yet. Um, and then construction report. Let's see, what we have? We had a lot. So we finished the upgrade up here. Nice. So now we actually have more recruitment slots, finally. Okay. And does give us some basic units. Um, but mine is not bad, actually. Let's see. If I want to get better... Ooh, that gives me the clan chiefman's there. Border horse, eh, nothing really. Eh. So, out of all this stuff, I feel like I might just get the better drill square. Get the better drill square so that we at least have access to the, the uh, clan chieftains. So I think we'll grab that here. You guys can't build anything. Um, I can lower the taxes now. We're actually making enough money that we want to focus on growth here to get you up to that 7,000 mark. So grab that. So that's the brothel we just finished there. Port in York. Uh, so we now have that. I think for you, we should get the better farms. Yeah, get the better farms. Help grow this a little bit faster as at the moment they have no growth whatsoever. Uh, other than that, we've got um, Norwich also. I think Norwich. We should get... Do we not have the... No, we do. These United Stables do nothing down here. Interesting. Uh, I'll just get the better bakehouse, just for more growth around here. 
Oh, actually, we want the Pope to like us more again. Let's get the Bitter Chapel, actually. Let's do that. And then Bristol was the only uh, last thing uh, here. I think kind of the same deal. Get the Bitter Chapel, just to make it so they like us a little bit more there. Okay. So that's a little bit better there. Also, I do need to make sure I move all my other spies. So I moved... Yes, uh, you need to keep moving along this way. On my way. I'm kind of bugged Stop that I didn't get to actually do much with that crusade. I was just too slow. How, I, don't, I don't know how the hell I was going to try and be able to beat Sicily there. Um, let's have you kind of, now that we don't have to actually worry about the um, going for the crusade, I'll have you guys kind of just uh, explore more around here to kind of light up these regions. Because I think for the most part, we will focus most of our expansion in the north uh, northwestern portion of Europe. And I do think kind of like me controlling... Maybe kind of like, yeah, kind of like here is not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm debating on if I'm going to actually properly control all this land down here. Because I'm going to take something, and I don't uh, mind me just conquering some land from the moors for whatever reason. I love the fact that there's this one random ass fucking army. It's like, oh, um, hi, uh, what, what are you doing in uh, Africa? Um, good sirs? Moscow founded. Nice. I, I can just imagine this guy's like, um... Uh, hi, um, why are you here? No, no, don't, 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 don't question it. Don't, no need to worry. Uh, don't, no need to worry whatsoever. I'm just going to attack you. <laughs> Cause fuck it, we didn't get to crusade, so I get to crusade down here. <laughs> We're gonna start conquering Africa. Why not? Uh, so let's have you start sieging that campaign in foreign lands. Yep, we're gonna lose a little bit of money there. They don't like us here, but sure, why not? We are now invading Africa. Um, now, let's see. I thought I saw an army on one of these fleets. Well, I'm gonna have to push through you to be able to get out of this area. And the strong Scottish Navy will do us proud. Kick those guys' asses, just in case, and that'll make you move down here. I am debating on whether or not I'm going to actually like, keep this land or if I'm going to actually sell it off to some of the Iberian factions. I am I can see myself doing either one. Um, honestly, I can see either one. I don't have a diplomat nearby the uh, Iberians just yet. Uh, they are kind of moving over there, but it'll take a while until we're actually over there. Let's see, another general possible adoption? Um, let me see. Let's hold off on this. So this is a candidate for adoption for... Morgan Mac. So that is... Uh, what passes, what father passes on to son? Ah, oh, let's see what this is about. It's about, it's going to be born of permanent character and such a ship. We're going to capture this. Okay. Let's see. So the main thing, this is in particular, the faction, if the faction leader has achieved one of the following, maximum authority or piety, has won numerous heroic battles and received the trait of a renowned victor, gained the, uh, gained the crown of your faction, or has uh, ended another faction's existence. Oh, that's cool. Uh, then the sons will be held in exceptional esteem by their subjects as well. They will have high authority and will be able to inherit the crown without conquering the territories depicted. Nice. I still don't know why the thing dis disappeared for me. I think it was when I had the uh, added in the uh, C uh, KCC mod or whatever. Uh, some mod. That might be why it's not showing up. Possibly. I don't know. But hey, let's get into this. I want to properly have it. So <laughs> uh, first battle we're actually having today. Hello, Captain uh, ha Hamid. Uh, has... We didn't get to crusade over in the Middle East, so I'm going to crusade in Africa instead. <laughs> sure, we'll take this, and uh, I think one of my diplomats is nearby. I kind of am not opposed to maybe holding some of this land down here, as it's not too far away from me. But honestly, I should probably just take this city, burn it down to the ground, and maybe sell it to the Iberians, possibly, then make my way back up to my lands. That's what we should probably do, honestly. Um, let's see, so what we're gonna do here is I'll have it so my siege towers, let's have you guys off to the side here. On my ladders off to the other side, right here. I'll have, um, have my archers over here. Archers over here. And then I'll have it so javelins kind of stay where you are. Let's have it so we start the battle. Let's see what they're gonna do. They've got, uh, one unit over here. This is a light infantry unit. Up against, uh, I'll throw my clansmen first because you guys are uh, not a unique unit, and I don't mind throwing you guys away. But the Crusader Foot Knights are a are a unique unit, so I actually give a shit about them. So we'll send the clansmen up first. Have you guys go up onto the walls and hopefully kind of clear a section here for us, as these guys are light infantry stat wise. Uh, actually pretty comparable, except I have a slightly higher attack, 
and uh, you guys have a bonus in the deserts. I have a bonus in woods or snow, and we are a very long far away from any sort of woods or snow. You guys are just running away here, okay? They're, just, they're all just running away. Okay, capture the gates. Capture the gates there. Uh, then, let's just have it so if they're already there, I'm going to have you just drop that ladder. And then, let's just kind of move on in. Let's have uh, you guys. Let's start kind of pushing towards the city center. Kind of going up here. Archers, let's start making our way over this way as well. This is the moment. They're not really doing much here. Are they going to try and attack here? Let's have you kind of form up there just in case. In case that, yeah, they're actually going to come over this way. Okay. Form up. Attack the Bedouin cow, a Bedouin infantry. Charge them. Otherwise, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're slaughtering them. Okay, let's have uh, you guys turn skirmish mode off. We'll have the Crusader units be the ones to properly claim the section, and it looks like I'll want to actually kind of go like right here. Then just have an archer kind of like right here, here, and here. Just kind of form on up there, guys. They'll try and come back. Let's have you guys break the gates down. And my siege towers, now that they're away, let's bring you over. The Crusader Knights should hopefully do a decent amount of damage, and they have the support of my archers. Go, my Crusaders! Claim the city for us! You weren't able to go all the way over to Anatolia, so we'll do the next best thing. And Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. Keep shooting, you idiots! Don't stop! Uh, please don't charge my archers. Please don't charge my archers. Please don't charge my archers. I'm bringing forces over, but they absolutely slaughtered that one unit. That's great. They have lost about 40% of their forces, though, at this point. Uh, you guys... Why are you on the walls now? What? Okay, well, you're about done there. They're just sitting here letting me shoot them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gladly just get some free kills if I can. Uh, those javelmen. Focus on them now. My siege towers are almost over here. Soon you'll be up on the walls, and I can bring you guys to the city center. They're thankfully just not attacking me just yet, so just keep shooting their javelins. Uh, they're dying very slowly. Oh, oh, now they're doing something. Okay, uh, at this point now, I want to run away onto the walls. So you kind of go over here, try and distract them. Try and run away. Basically, I want to try and get you guys up onto the walls. That way, you are safe to keep trying to shoot them. And uh, then my infantry, you try and take over there. So go up on the walls here, up on the walls here. Uh, you try and go like over here, I guess. You've now been able to push on through the gates over here. So let's then have the rest of you like this, make your way in here. Let's have you just start making your way towards the city center there. Archers, okay, you were able to get set up. Okay, so if you go over that way, you guys can just kind of make your way towards the city center. Um, actually, no, you guys be the ones. You be the ones to make your way towards the city center. I'll have it so that these two uh, actually kind of go over around the side here to support them. And then uh, my javelins can all help out to support the city center as well. So they can go here, here, and all of these cat units go over here. There we go. Captain's now dead. So for the most part now that he's out of the way, it shouldn't be very much longer until they give up. Uh, my javelins have almost fully pushed in through the city center, actually. So he kind of throws stuff there. My archers are just about in position so that they can kind of unload onto the city center. I'm just going to move my spearmen up a little bit here and here. Uh, you guys kind of move up too, about there and there. Start forming up. I've only got about 15% uh, of their forces left at this point. I guess if you guys probably just attack those javelinmen of theirs, because most of their men have died at this point. Let's bring you guys back around as well. Yeah, 13% left. With all my infantry focusing on them, it should not take much longer to finish you guys off. There we go. So we didn't get to go crusade in Anatolia, but we did get to crusade in Africa. Now we've got this little city around here, and we can, we have a couple options. I could. Just straight up try and sell this off to the Iberian factions, one of the many, uh, to try and strengthen their position. Or I could start expanding here myself and very easily probably help take out the Moors. I'm just going to sack it. Um, because for the most part, this area... Ooh, I can actually recruit some chieftains down here already. Nice. Um, more javelins. Um, simply because it's 4 on 1. And, like, hey, I, this is, I think, the one of the southernmost regions. 
So for the most part, I should be able to very easily start trying to just expand up north. Hey, I'll, I'll see. I'm also just kind of curious what you guys think, too. Do you guys think I should just sell it off to the Iberians? Because I know eventually I kind of want to probably have it so, like, I kind of expand, like, down all into this. Because I need how many regions again? 40? 40 regions? I need 30 more. That could mainly, like, I know I want to control France. I know for sure. I want to control France. I want to control a bit of Germany. I kind of want to maybe go over here, up to about here. Not that much further than that. Staying along primarily the coast. But I also want to have a little bit of Iberia as well. I don't know, off to see. But I think I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.